it seems as though some of you have some fair requests. Um, specifically, the request that I'm thinking of has to do with delay conditioning procedures. Uh, <clears throat> normally, we include examples in our videos, you're right, and this time we just kind of did a verbal example of how it works, but <sighs> we failed you. You called us out on it, so we've succeeded in, re in, in, in responding. We've succeeded in our reply. We've succeeded, we hope, in teaching you about delay-based conditioning. So here you go, folks. Here's an example of delay-based conditioning. There's actually two, because in true psych core fashion, we're going to use this as a teaching example, a genuine teaching example. And we're going to start out by conditioning me. Then we're going to start out by conditioning you. So ha! here we go. Hope you have fun. We'll start off with the video that prompted the whole thing first. It's a quick one. It's a penny packers. We won't do the intro. We'll just do, well, no, just a little bit of the intro because you know you got to just do the advertising thing. All right, folks, there you go. See you in a minute. Now we're on to even more classical conditioning. So delay conditioning is simple. It's better than trace conditioning. Why? Because you turn the CS on. Again, CS, you're gonna turn that CS on. Take a look up here. But before that CS turns off, you're gonna turn the US on. Woo-wee! And that talk about predictability. That's gonna make things predictable as all get out. I'm telling you. All right, so that CS comes on, the US comes on, then they both turn off. They don't have to turn off at the exact same time. Well, roughly it works. Anyway, you got a little bit of a gap from the time that the CS turns on, then the US turns on. That's the delay. So delay conditioning, most effective of the classical conditioning procedures. The second most effective is probably uh, trace conditioning, but I'd have to refer to the literature. And as we've already established from other videos. Sometimes I screw that up, but I don't think I screwed this one up. So please pay nothing for this video because it was a great one. It's the last time you go car shopping before we do videos. <laughs> Oh. How am I not supposed to laugh?